Howdy, 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 my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for August, Taurus. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how my tarot readings help you out, darling. All right, I always like, enjoy hearing from y'all. As well as if you want to support this channel completely for free, Taurus, just giving this video a like and subscribe helps me out a lot. And I'm really appreciative of those who take the extra step to support me in that way because I know y'all don't have to, Taurus, and I'm really appreciative when you guys take that extra time to do that. So today, Taurus, we're going to be getting into three rows for you. All right, your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that is currently on your mind. All right, your second row, Taurus, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. All right, and then in your third row, Taurus, we're going to just be getting into some predictions for you, darlings. All right, so when it comes to consuming tarot readings online, Taurus, all right, uh, I want you to read more than just your uh, sun sign. All right, when it comes to your zodiac signs consume your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign all right to get the full spectrum and let's just get right into this here for you uh taurus let's get into the person that's on your mind currently which seems to be pretty pretty juicy here darling all right this knight of swords eight of sword or eight of swords here with this four of pentacles here all right for me taurus i'm seeing this as an energy of where this is like a situation in your life of where you're feeling really stuck with them. It feels as if they are, they probably are extremely stubborn. They're extremely stubborn. And right now it feels like it's giving me very like bipolar energy here, uh, Taurus, all right? I wouldn't be surprised if this is someone that you've connected to in the past, all right? It feels like it goes in and out of connection where it's like when you guys connect sometimes things re feel really fabulous. But then there'll be other times where it's just like completely like just dead silence, right? You're not really hearing much from them here, all right? This is definitely someone that you've put some time into. So I do sense like this sense of frustration on your side to Taurus where you're just like hey darling right like stop leaving me in the dust here right like clue me in on like what's going on with you right because I feel like for you Taurus you're just wanting to understand like what's going on with them and I see with them with this eight of swords honestly Taurus this eight of swords is letting me know that this person's really going through a lot of mental restrictions here all right and so especially because of this knight of swords I feel as if this is someone that is just like mentally they're just going through it all right they're definitely going through it so let's start clarifying this here taurus see what we can get with this ten of pentacles tower energy here with the six of swords all right five of cups in the back of the deck here all right taurus <sighs> I'm going to be honest here, Taurus. I'm going to just be very just straight up with you. I feel like you have to just ask yourself the question, darling, being like, all right, is this person worth my time currently? All right. I feel like this person, again, has just a lot of their own personal issues to be working on. All right. And I feel like for you, you can't rush this process with them. I feel like with them, there's like this, I get like this sense of like they, it's like there's like a couple more self-sabotages that they have in their system, uh, Taurus, before they're ready to fully be able to um, give their time to you, to fully be able to give you that consistency that you're craving here, all right? Now, long term, I see this working out. All right. Long term, I see this working out. But I will just say like this just gives me an energy towards so someone that's just in this place of self-sabotaging. And I don't think they're aware that they're self-sabotaging. But again, like, darling, whenever we're feeling in our most manic state or depressed darling we're not always making the best decisions and so for you taurus right like don't don't fall into the trapped taurus of like that people pleasing aspect of where you see how someone else is like the struggles of what someone else is going through right just because you can relate to them or understand just like yeah mental issues suck we all go through them though all right it's a full-time job just to live our own lives we can't do it for somebody else as well taurus all right you have the benefactor coming in here grace and generosity here number three i feel like with when it comes to this connection connection uh taurus this is gonna be a situation where it's just like let them do their own thing taurus all right leave them alone i feel like the more that you try to uh fight with them or try to get them to mature quicker or whatever outcome that you're hoping to have with this person here taurus like I feel like it'll just come at a later point in time. All right, put a pin on this situation here. This is someone that's just a little bit too much drama currently. I see this as Taurus, all right? Good intentions, just like a lot of, yeah, that's really what it is. This is just someone that's it's extremely human. I wanna suggest to you to write down the number three 
in numerology Taurus to see what number that uh how that me what message that brings for you all right you also have the last quarter moon in cancer taking a breather I mean this is just what I was just saying about the situation here Taurus wasn't it darling of where it's just like take a breather with this situation I feel like the more that you try to work on this right now the further back you're going to go when it comes to this relationship here all right allow this person just to work through their issues Taurus understand that it's not a you thing it's truly something that they are personally going through all right they're on their own personal journey darling okay so take that as you will um the number three will definitely bring forth some type of message for you taurus uh in regards to this relationship so definitely i'm always big on numerology darling all right so take that as you will let's now get into what you need to hear at this time here taurus all right so the three cards that you got here are the knight of wands ten of wands as well with the world card currently as well i love the world card taurus all right full disclaimer it's the last card in the major arcana it represents the closure of cycles to begin new cycles in your life to be you know new journeys and what have you all right so what you need to hear right now uh taurus is this sense of like don't allow uh this sense of like being stir crazy or the sense of manicness come in or creep in here don't make irrational decisions at this time here because i see this sense of where pressure is being applied to taurus all right the pressure is being applied to you but at the end of the day when that pressure you know let's just you, taurus buckle up honey i'm about to get into that corny saying where it's just like that pressure that it's being applied to you is just shaping you to be that diamond essentially here and so well well, yes, Taurus, all right? I'm not going to sugarcoat this. There's definitely, I see y'all just have been going through it here, all right? But don't, uh, don't, don't, don't make any irrational decisions currently because this period of struggle is going to be ending here sooner than what you anticipate, all right? So whatever plans that you have been making, maybe it's like backup plans, plan B, maybe for some of you Tauruses, you are ready to in initiate a plan B with something. Maybe for some of you Tauruses, you were thinking about throwing in the towel with the situation because you're just like you know what like you try to give it its moment you try to give it its time here but it just hasn't been working out all right just wait a little bit longer Taurus all right before you make any uh committal decisions at this time before we throw in the towel wait a little bit longer here because knight of wands i like this energy depending on when it how it's coming in right the knight of wands can represent this sense of like someone that's just following forth with their passion they'll more they're more about action now and then figure things out later which is during its time and place towards it's not a bad thing here all right but you're going to have your moment all right that's what i keep on hearing it's like you're going to have your moment here all right so don't don't do don't do anything rash <clears throat> all right let's start clarifying this here ace of cups coming in here this star card coming in and then that ten of wands coming right back out two of cups coming in here in the back of the deck uh taurus all right this could be definitely in regards to is this two of cups yeah no this is the two of cups i thought it was ten of cups from that glare in a moment from a, for a moment but yeah two of cups for you taurus this is the sense for many of you guys maybe you're thinking about giving up in regards to a relationship especially when it comes to what we were just talking about for the person on your mind all right taurus for some of you guys it's just like you're thinking about maybe Maybe sending like a long text message or a long message you know something to somebody or making like a big decision that you didn't really want to make perhaps or feel like pushed to that place of making that decision but um wait it out all right really like especially if um this initial pile resonated with you taurus i kind of want you to watch this reading back a couple times because there's going to be a lot of messages here for you to unpack all right for that specific relationship all right so ace of cups star energy ten of wands as i said coming back in here to clarify this all right tens represent closures to cycles all right and so spirits making sure that you're aware that we're talking yes it's like that sense of for you Taurus, where it's like yes darling we are talking about that dead like that dead weight that heavy baggage we are talking about the thing that has just like you wake up in the morning and immediately you feel the weight of the stress about that situation yes we are talking just about that Taurus. all right for some of you guys it's the sense of where you have been dealing with this heavy weight this baggage for so long Taurus. right girl i'm trying to figure out how i want to there we go right that it's almost unbelievable for you to conceptualize this idea towards that you're gonna have i mean you know the star energies that wish being granted ace of cups you know that's new love um that's new opportunity here all right it's almost as if for you Taurus, it's really hard for you to conceptualize a future for yourself that doesn't involve 
whatever this dead weight is, whatever this baggage is, which really bums me out. That's such a sad, uh, really just represents just like how taxed you feel all right i keep on hearing like i hear like some tourists just being like i am tired i am tired of fighting alone i'm tired of feeling alone in this battle like you're tired of the that there even is a battle in the first place because you just like you're sitting there and you're asking yourself towards being like who started this war like who started this i didn't want any part in this if i knew it was going to be this hard darling i would have just skipped out on this lifetime right <clears throat> i feel it taurus i feel it <clears throat> all right let's get into the oracle cards for this you have the magician's sword popping in here all right take note of that number three coming in here all right if you are really associating a numerology here number one is associated for this row here for what you need to hear right now so be sure to check out that as well also the magician is associated with the number one as well so for many of you guys right now uh taurus you might be like velka how are you getting the number one from 37 darling all right in numerology unless it's a master number you combine the numbers to equate to one number unless it's a master number so three and seven that would equal to ten then that would be one all right so then one is associated with the magician so I'm, i don't know if this is intentional from this oracle deck but i kind of like commend this deck to actually nail it because the, yeah it's the magician's sword here here. confidence in your magic here it has to be intentional that they did this definitely um which is really impressive i'm gonna have to <laughs> suggest this oracle deck actually i'm kind of blown away anyways taurus confidence in your magic here the magician the manifest the reality that they want to see in this world taurus right and so there's a little bit more confidence that you need to have with what's to come and that you're going to be able to handle the battles to come all right there is a sense here taurus where you need to just believe that good things are meant to happen for you because some of you taurus is again you just been in this period of just constant struggle that it's hard to, like you forget what it's like to be able to relax some of you don't even know what the word relax is all right man y'all have been working hard taurus all right last quarter moon in taurus be proud of yourself all right very straightforward message in this way so i'm not going to sit on my soapbox for too long about this taurus all right but be proud of yourself celebrate yourself more here give yourself more credit everything that you've had to deal with all the baggages all, all the baggages all the things that you've been thrown your way taurus all right it would break a lesser person all right and you need to give yourself credit you need to give yourself credit that you're able that you, the very fact that you're listening to this reading right now taurus all right give yourself credit for that all right because it means that you're still breathing you're still kicking which again is a full-time job to make sure that you're able to do that and so celebrate yourself more uh taurus because i feel like no one else really celebrates you for you all right throw yourself your own party darling all right so let's continue on here for you taurus all right let's get into your predictions now what i see uh, uh, happening for you uh just with the general direction of where your energy is currently going you have the emperor card the eight of wands with the queen of cups here all right eight of wands quick forward movement to travel for some of you guys here but i see the sense of traveling for you is getting much closer to your goals here all right you know i want to point out with this uh queen of cups taurus i always say it's like the queen of cups is called the queen of cups but she's actually holding a trophy she's keeping her eye on that trophy as well all right i know it looks like i'm pointing i guess i am pointing at her boob unintentionally but i'm trying to point at the trophy here to us. <laughs> all right and so i see you guys getting closer to your goals there all right i see you know we even have that aquarian energy with that star coming in which is like a wish fulfillment here all right you are much closer closer to us than you are aware about um about reaching to your next destination it's like just behind the other doors like when you're finally going to be celebrated here taurus all right that's really what i see your story as currently is where it's just like everything built up to this moment has been just applying enough pressure for you taurus all right to be able to confidently be this emperor now all right i feel like this is very much so part of your path currently where it's just like until like until you're beaten down enough by the universe you wouldn't have been able to have the confidence that you are going to have or to have the tools in your toolbox to be able to handle what's coming towards you right for some of you tourists you want to have like your own business you want to be extremely successful but 
um, you have to remember that you have to go through the experiences to be built to be that CEO. All right. This is why people say, be careful what it is that you want to manifest, Taurus, because it's like if you want to be a CEO. All right. That means you have to go through CEO training, darling. All right. That means you have to go through that boot camp. All right. When you involve spiritual energies, you're going to be worked through. I'm choking on my own spit, Taurus. Um, you're going to be put through those trials and tribulations there to to create the CEO Taurus, the CEO version of yourself. It doesn't just happen. You don't just wake up one day and you have that CEO mindset, all right? And so that's what I want you to think about this more as Taurus, where it's just like you're building up to be a CEO. The pressure is being applied and soon what's going to happen is... Uh, that diamond, all right? Garden of Venus coming in here for you, all right? Uh, rest and renewal stepping forward for you, all right? So again, for didn't I even say, Taurus, it's like for many of you guys, you don't even know what the word, you forgot what the word relax means, right? And that's coming for you, all right? This is the predictions row. Like you are going to get um, that rest, that well-needed vacation. I don't know why, but I'm hearing tropics right now, Taurus. Some of you guys need to start making a priority to like get somewhere tropical, even if it's just creating a vision board right now, setting the intent right now, Taurus, for where you want to be going. I mean, I guess you don't need to go tropical, but I'm, I feel like, like I'm being shown tropical. And this is not my, I know I'm in Florida right now, Taurus, but like I am not a Florida person, honey. I don't like the sun. I don't like tropics. I like the winter stuff. But I feel like it's just really important for some Tauruses here to really set their vision, Queen of Cups energy that we had beforehand on um, on the tropics. All right. So creating that vision board is going to be what that missing link needed to start really uh, directing energy to creating that reality for you. All right, Taurus. So um, believe in your good luck. First quarter moon in Sagittarius. Again, it's all the sense of trying to get you to believe Taurus. All right. It's all trying to get you to believe in what's going to be happening for you. All right, darling. So I love you so much, Taurus. Hopefully this gave you some uh, resonance, a sense of direction. If it did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a reading with me, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both just being simplyvelka. Same as here. All right, darling. So I love you so much, Taurus, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.